Hi guys, welcome to the Plastic Surgeon Vlog. In this video, we will see how we can read CT scan at home. So, in the CT scan, we will see skull bone and the brain and what is what are the abnormality inside the brain. So, first see how brain looks like in the CT scan. So, here is the skull bone. The outermost layer is the skull bone. Then there is a membrane which is covering the brain. So, this membrane is known as dura mater, and inside this dura mater is the brain. So. Now there are two possibilities. One is we uh, we can see a collection of the blood outside this dura mater, or we can see collection of blood inside this dura mater. So if the collection of the blood will be outside this outside this membrane, means the collection will will be in between the skull bone and the dura mater. That will known as extradural hematoma. If it is beneath this membrane, means between the brain and the dura, it is known as subdural hematoma and if it is in the brain like what we seen in the hypertensive patient then it is known as intraparenchymal bleed or the stroke so this is your skull bone outer then your dura mater this white color is structure is known as dura mater then this is your brain parenchyma and then this is your ventricular cavity and these are the carpus callosum and other structures well in the CT scan we put patient in the scanner and we scan and we take the axial uh, cuts of his uh, patient's brain so these are the axial cuts normally in the brain CT scan we take 1.5 mm to 1 mm of the axial cut so distance between two cut is 1.5 mm and depending upon the level of the cut we will get the picture so we'll get the pictures like this so this topmost uh, cut will be depicted here like this middle will be depicted here their bottom will be depicted here like this suppose i am i have to see what is the problem at this level so one two three four five six seven so one two three four five six seven so this is the level seven this this is this cut is depicting here in the picture so in this way we used to see the ct scan first see how brain looks like normally in the ct scan so here is our this thing first uh, remember always the uh, the white color will indicate either it's a bone or it's a blood the gray color will indicate it's a brain parenchyma and the black color will indicate that it's a it's a uh, cavity or some kind of fluid other than the blood so we'll have white color here so this white color is indicating that this is the skull bone this is the bone so this white color is indicating bone then this gray color is indicating brain parenchyma and these two small cavities are indicating our ventricular system in the brain right so we have to read CT scan in two uh, manner either from outside to inside or inside to outside so for the ease of understanding i am reading it from outside to inside so in any scan we have to see from outside so see the continuity of the bone so bone is continuous all around so this indicate that brain uh, this bone is intact okay then the brain parenchyma is gray in color and there is no any kind of collection so brain parenchyma is absolutely normal now the ventricles are also appearing normal these are small in size or small is means appropriate in the size and there is there is uh, there, there, there is no pro, like significant abnormalities appearing in this section of the CT scan normally we can see this guy rise of the brain so these guy rise of the brain are the normal if patient develop brain edema so these guy guy will be lost okay now see in this scan we can see that continuity of bone is not maintained this means there is a fracture of the skull bone which may be due to the road traffic accident or any kind of injury or trauma to the brain in this scan if we see from outside so we'll see that bone continuity of the white color is maintained but additionally there is some white color here also in the brain parenchyma and the shape of this white color collection is like this by convex shape and color is white so i have told you that white color indicate either bone or the blood so definitely bone is not there so it indicates that blood so and its shape which is by convex indicating it's a Hema, uh, this thing, uh, extradural hematoma means outside the dura mater. So always remember, if you are seeing this kind of shape in the brain CT scan, it indicating it is extradural means outside the dura, means between the skull and the brain, skull and the membrane. So and beside this, there is shift of the midline. If you see, we have to see the midline of the brain. So here midline is shifting. 
right so this hematoma or the blood collection is compressing the brain because of that it is shifting to the other side and also the ventricle system is also displaced so these three abnormalities are seen here and diagnosis is the extra dural hematoma which is acute but as a time passes if and if we are not treating the patient if if patient survives which happens uh, sometimes so this blood this white color will turn into the black color so now you are seeing the same shape the biconvex shape here but color has turned into the black or dark color so this this in this biconvex shape only indicating it's a extradural hematoma which has organized so now it is chronic it will term as chronic so now it's it seems that it's a more than two or three week duration which has organized beside this there is no gross midline shift midline is as such maintained but this side of ventricle is compressed bit this side of ventricle is dilated and bone continuity is maintained okay so this is chronic subdural hematoma now in this condition if you see here is the collection and the shape of this collection is like this means concave or convex so if you are seeing this kind of shape immediately go to the diagnosis of the subdural hematoma means the blood collection is between the brain and the membrane dura mater Beside this, there is no as such gross midline shape, but this side of the ventricle is disturbed. And if you see, these are the gyris of the brain, but this side gyris are distorted. So patient develop this side of the brain edema. So these are the abnormality in this scan and the diagnosis is subdural hematoma. Now here is the intraparenchymal bleed. If you see, they then read it from the outside. So brain bony cavity is normal. Bony cavity is normal. There is some collection here. in the brain parenchyma there is midline distortion and ventricle is dilated on the other side so this is indicating intraparenchymal bleed means patient is having hyper patient is hypertensive and because of that he develop bleed inside the brain parenchyma which is known as stroke and patient develop paralysis attack anyways in this scan we are seeing dilatation of the ventricle read it from the outside so the brain parenchyma is absolutely normal then uh, bone is absolutely normal then brain parenchyma and then these the ventricles so ventricles are bigger in size so this indicate that patient have some kind of obstruction here this level because these are the ventricles and they are dilated that indicate that the obstruction is some kind of obstruction is there at the is at their drainage so this is the ventricular dilation which is seen on the cd scan although it is not a very common finding but yeah you can see when you are working at some centers which having high number of the patient input anyways here i am seeing some kind of problem in the brain brain cam if i read from the outside so brain ca bony cavity is normal brain brain cam is appearing in this side is normal but this side we can see some kind of hypo density or the black in the color now it's not clear cut in the shape right not round now not oval so i am suspecting because it is irregular so i am suspecting that patient might have some kind of tumor to diagnose it what i'll do i'll give contrast injection to the patient i'll take the patient out of the machine and give it give him contrast injection now this contrast by the blood will reach to the brain and now if there is any kind of blood or blood vessel is nearby this area then we will give the enhancement white color enhancement and here you see that there is the ring enhancement in this video in this uh, scan so this ring enhancement indicate it's a tumor so in the same manner in the first scan we are not able to clearly depict what this irregularity is what the problem is with this irregularity here and here also we are seeing some irregularity so what we did we give we gave contrast to the patient and after contrast there is enhancement in these two areas so this indicating some kind of tumorous abnormality or some kind of other might be aneurysm or some kind of other abnormalities the, all the aneurysm is not that much common in this area but yeah some kind of abnormalities there after the contrast enhancement and here you are seeing some kind of bulge so bone is intact if you are seeing there is no fracture of the bone but this is outside the bone means at the level of the hair follicle so there there is the collection of the blood in the skull this is known as skull hematoma okay believe me skull hematoma is not that much emergency but yeah if collection is inside the bone that it, in that case it becomes emergency and we have to treat the patient immediately whatever by the medical mean or by the surgical mean depending upon the findings we have to treat the patient but yeah this is the skull hematoma this is not that much emergency so this is the one possibility so this is shortly about the city brain i hope you like this video if you like this video 
please subscribe this channel if you in case if you have any query you can put in the comment section and by the same name plastic surgeon vlog this is english channel i'm having other channel also so you can go there and you can watch some surgery videos there so thanks for watching it have a nice day bye bye